Hi everyone and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today I want to show you my coupon binder. Now this is not exactly the type of binder I've seen. It kind of is, but I've added some tweaks to it. Um, from a lot of the videos I've seen on YouTube about binders, they tell you to cut out every single coupon in hopes that an item will be free and it will have the coupon. I did this for like three years and as my schedule has gotten busier, I've noticed I really don't have time to sit and cut out every single coupon. I didn't want to throw the coupons away because items could become free later. So I tried the whole insert method, keeping them just in file folders and stuff. That did not work for me at all because they say just cut your coupons out when you need them or take them with you and leave them in the car. That just did not work out for me. I wanted to still have my coupons in a binder and also have the whole inserts with me. So I developed a system um, where your binder can be a collaboration of the typical binder system, broken coupons broken down into categories and the baseball card holders, as well as the whole insert method where you just keep the coupons in their inserts. So I am going to show you how to do this. This is a Mead five star binder. You can get these at Walmart. I'm sure Target sells them. I don't have a Target, but Target, Kmart, Kroger, Staples, any of these places. And then these sheets, um, you can get these pretty, I'm sure at Staples or Walmart, but you can also get them on Amazon. I will have a link to this binder and the um, baseball card holders and the printable or these photo holders um, that you can buy on Amazon. So if you want to buy them from Amazon, I will have the link directly in the description box. So in this pencil pouch, I keep scissors yes. as well as some random coupons I have lying around. So that is what I keep in here. I apologize for the glare, but in the front of my binder, I have these. These are photo holders, and I just put coupons in it for um, trips I am planning on going on. So like, I went to Walmart yesterday, and I had a couple separate transactions. I put the coupons for each transaction in a separate photo holder. So um, I will have links to that on Amazon as well. So I do have my binder divided out into categories. So first up is breakfast, baking, and bread. And I will have all of these categories listed um, in the description box. So I will have those listed for you. Condiment, or no, beverages. Condiments, candy, gum, and snacks. This is frozen and refrigerated. You can break this down even farther. I just have these in these categories because it works best for me. Packaged and boxed foods. Paper products. Cleaning products. Laundry. And then pet care. Pharmacy, I just call this the pharmacy section because anything you find in a pharmacy is here. And this is like skin care, skin and foot care. Razors. Deodorant and body wash. You can divide that however you, you can do this however um, you want, whatever's easier for you. There's hair care, oral care, and then I have a category for miscellaneous, like batteries, baby food, random stuff. And then I have a category for store coupons. These are coupons I receive in the mail that I get for stores, like JCPenney up there, JCPenney, Shoe Carnival, Bath and Body Works, Ruby Tuesday, Rite Aid, any of these stores I keep right there. So something else that I keep in my binder are these store flyers, the sales ads for that week. So I have Kroger, Dollar General, there's an ad that I took out that I need to put back in. Um, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Walgreens, CVS, all of the sales ads I keep here. So this is how I said that this is a combination of the binder method as well as the whole insert method. I only cut coupons for stuff I really think that we would buy or use. Other coupons I'm not sure if we would use, I don't want to throw them away because they can become a free item later. However, I don't want to spend all that time cutting out the coupons. So what I have done is I made a whole insert method. I keep the inserts in here. Now what I did is I three hole punched 
the sheets. So like this is the front page of the red plum. I three hole punched that and put it in here. What you have to be careful doing, I've made this mistake a couple times. Make sure you do not hole punch the barcode. So you have to check it on this side and check it over on that side and make sure you do not hole punch the barcode. This is what I've done. So like this was 611. I did another tab for six. Oh wait, no, that was, this is 611. So 611 inserts. And here's 618 inserts. Here are 625 inserts. And this keeps going on and on and on. I keep all the inserts because if it's not a product that I will use, but it's free, I could donate it, I could give it away to someone, you can do whatever, but don't throw those coupons away because you might be able to get the item for free, but you don't want to spend all your time cutting out coupons that you'll never use. I learned that the hard way. I literally did that for like three years and I learned it just was not worth all the trouble. But I do encourage keeping your inserts here. So this um, is... I've heard of the whole insert method. That didn't work for me because I want to have my coupons with me in the store. So having it like this, I can have the coupons with me when there's a clearance find. I can just get on the coupon database. Or if I just remember where it is, you can go over and find the insert in your binder, cut that coupon out in the store, and it's that plain and simple. You don't have to lug around a huge file box. You don't have to do any of that. You have all your coupons with you at all times.